Hello guys, this is Kazrak bringing you uh, a submission replay this time. <coughs> Since I don't have the act, I guess it's not, not a surprise for most of you, but... Uh, this was submitted to me by Vespidus, one of my oldest and most faithful viewers. He recently unlocked the Yak Tiger, and this game, I have to say, this game makes me want to have the Yak Tiger. But, we are playing on Fisherman's Bay, uh, this is a tier 10 battle, 3 tier 10s on the enemy seed, uh, team, I see IS-4, IS-7, and uh, E-5. Then an M103 SD1. So a quite decent matchup in heavies. Roughly Compton by the same thing on this side. IS4, IS7 and E3. Yep, exactly. So it's a quite decent matchup overall, but you're gonna see that the redness of the team is gonna show, but I am quite amazed with what this gun is capable of. So as I said, Vesp is one of my oldest and not oldest in age, but oldest in time that he view, uh, watches my live streams. And one of the biggest uh, contributor, uh, contributors, he like donated like three or four games to me. So ah, uh, unlucky shot over there, but he already did a thousand and one hundred damage. The Actiga's gun is is strong, to say the least. Very accurate, very punchy, it reloads quite fast from what I see. It's really something that you would want to have. If you're into tank destroyers, Hayak Tiger is probably the, the thing that you want. Let's just increase the map because I see it's like tiny. Relic. Oh, I didn't know that. T-54 was from Relic. Relic. Which in North American server is one of the best clans, but in here I think they are not actually that good. So this just using uh, his good camouflage rating with the Yak Tiger. And Binox just positioning himself so he's always behind a bush. So he doesn't get caught off guard. Unfortunately that shot didn't go in. It was a little bit of a snapshot, but I understand uh, why he did it. There was a high probability that the guy will just run away. Now he gets tracked by, by the T-54 that he left alone a second ago. Backing out just to give him some... Ah, didn't get that kill also. Ah, is also hiding. It's, it's, it's a difficult battle, but the end of this battle is purely insane. He will use gold, but you can notice he only has two gold shells. He will use those two gold shells, but that's purely for securing the, uh, the win. And I have no whatsoever uh, anything against it. As I say always, I have nothing against using gold unless you're using gold all the time. Like, it's your only ammo loadout. I understand when someone has, like, like me or Vesp, we have a few uh, shells in our tanks just just for the scotch situations most of the time on most tanks but with the British mediums like I'm playing right now with the V it's more like not a clutch situation but you know you can afford to have less penetration and inflict that 70 more damage maybe for some extra damage but honestly overall it's not a very good idea awesome shot on the AMX 1390 he tracked him unfortunately didn't do damage which is silly but then again, that's the game. Why I say it's silly? Uh, to roughly give you a comparison, this gun is, I'm gonna tell you, what's the caliber of this. I'm guessing 12.5. Yeah, 12.8 millimeter. 128 millimeter cannon. <clears throat> that means the shell for this is bigger than the shells that are used in modern day tanks. And I don't know if you ever saw one, but it's huge. And if you're shooting something that's roughly half of your size and doesn't have armor, I just don't understand why it doesn't do damage. Now Vesp moved a little bit out of his uh, sneaky place. 
to try to push uh, over here but the, you can see the other flank while the team enemy team is collapsing 7 to 6 well not collapsing it's it's still on decent oh oh no we don't get a shot on the Yaktiga the enemy team is outflanking the tier 10 ones uh, in the city and they roughly in a few seconds they will be dead because that's what happens when uh, they are awesome shot damaging putting on fire and killing a yak tiger I don't have an idea how he did that because he was aiming at the upper superstructure of the yak tiger not the lower plate but you're going back into the shot in the AMX I just don't understand how such a big shell cannot do damage those shots even if it bounced off the armor it would cripple the tank heavily and damage it you just gotta take into your mindset that a shell of that caliber hitting at a side of a tank it rips the armor apart from the inside it works roughly like hash ammo because I don't know if you guys know how hash ammo works in real life but that's a that's a discussion for a whole other time and probably a live stream if someone's interested you can ask that question I personally didn't fire hash rounds, I fired heat rounds. Vespa a little bit annoyed about the uh, IS-4. Completely understandable, the guy died and now he's spamming that and uh, that uh, five enemy tanks are coming in here. And was trying to figure out what's the best position over here. And also I have to give credit, by the, t by the time we are saying this, it's 3.7 thousand damage. Unfortunately I have no uh, end plates for this, but I have uh, a link to this Vesp's, uh, my replays uh, site with this replay. It's actually one of the, mo of the top uh, scored Yaktiga games in on what uh, gods, on what replays. So, he they spotted IS-7. When I watched this replay, I thought, okay, he's gonna miss, he's gonna bounce, and like, boom! And I'm amazed, cause this kind of range, 300 meters, he aimed for the lower plate again, and he penetrates again. I have problems with the bloody IS-7, even if I'm 100 meters away from it. And first shot goes in, perfectly aimed at the lower plate. But the T-54 still is the kill. Now he's readjusting to see the T-34. Asking his scout to move up and and scout. Of course saying to him like watch out. Because as he says he really does need him. That gives a little bit of comfort to the scout and maybe maybe he will play a little bit more cautiously and more knowingly what he's supposed to do. So yeah, the Yachtiger, tier 9 German heavy, t uh, not heavy, tank destroyer. Roughly one of the best tier 9 tank destroyers. Very, very punchy gun. High rate of fire, very accurate with good penetration. There's roughly nothing bad that you can say about the gun. The tank itself from what Vesp says uh, has a lot of flaws in terms of armor. Unfortunately that shell went high and went into the turret of the T-34 which is never a good idea. And now went low and didn't penetrate so two missed hits unfortunately for him. IS-4 coming around the corner again low hit didn't wait for proper aiming. I understand that completely. This is an intense game for him. Another shell, shell goes down. Now he has to be angry. It's four hits in a row that didn't penetrate anything. He's more concerned about the IS-4 than he is about the T-34. But And I understand that because the IS-4 will have side shots on him. Which it almost took. And now this piece of cover throws him, but he gets an amazing shot and bounces a shot from the T-34, which is quite amazing, honestly. 
with the penetration the T-34, <coughs> sorry, with the penetration the T-34 has, it shouldn't be the case. Now the IS-4 is moving in, plus the ST-1 is behind him. STI, ST-1, depends on how you want to say it. Vesp aims for the ST-1, took a roughly snapshot, but penetrated and tracked him. Waited for the IS-4 to, to shoot. SC-1 hide it. Perf beautifully aimed shot at the commander's hatch. Actually, I'm not sure that's the commander's hatch, but let's say at the cupola. Exchanged a shot, he, he bounced and the IS-4 got hit uh, right in the frontal, behind the frontal wheel. But notice that he's alone. Everyone in his team is already dead. Bounced a shot. <coughs> T-34 is trying to get a shot on him. The ST-1 tracks him, but he has a proper repair crew. Ouch. Bounced. Didn't take the time to shoot. Now you would think he's, he's in a very bad spot. This ST-1 was trolling him, but I don't know how, but it went in and killed him. Now the STI or one is going around and watch watch what he's doing. He didn't even get his cannon to point down. I think now, no, yet, not yet. This was trying to aim. To get some hits. This guy has a good... I have to give him credit that he has a good idea of how to escape the direct fire line of our Yaktiga, but he derps in a sense because instead of like trying to get in a other spot like he saw IS-4 and IST-1 die over here because they tried to come around this corner and he's trying the same thing <laughs> so a little bit of a bad play by the T-34 now Vesp blows premium shells to secure the kill he's able to take a hit from the T-34 and if he penetrates two times in a row he's able to take him out without a problem he's at five kills so he can get top gun with this 8461 damage that's, that's more than I ever did in any tank a ton more I would even say my highest personal damage score is something around almost 7000 oddly he wasn't spotted now he takes a shot on T-34 penetrates this, uh, the upper side of his turret and now is it's not even a competition BAM so he kills him I'm just gonna like go over oh my god I deselected the game sorry uh, roughly this game earned him 2641 uh, experience so great game credits is 49,000 he shot 29 times with 20 penetration hits did 9676 damage almost 10,000 damage done received three and a half thousand potentially so I have to say very 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 strong game if you uh, I'm gonna uh, link the the my replay site was the replay so you can check out the battle results for yourself but I can just tell you that uh, that his team didn't do nothing he was basically the only reason why the team won and I have to say amazing game Vesp and keep at it